when you close your eyes, you get a better chance to see your own mind, where the thoughts are going. But when we practice meditation, we want to be able to carry those skills out into the world outside as well, so that you're sensitive to what the mind is doing, even in the midst of what other people are doing. Because what other people are doing, that's not your Ultimately, that's not your concern. Your main concern is what you're going to do. And so you want what you're going to do to come from a good place. This is why we do take time out, close our eyes, and watch the breath, so we can see our minds really clearly. Because all too often the mind hides things from itself, and when things are hidden, they get into your thoughts and words and deeds, and you don't realize what's going on. You lose your perspective. What seems right may actually be wrong. What seems wrong may actually be right. So you've got to clear things out inside. Make sure the mind is clear to itself, not hiding things from itself. That way, when you go out into the real world, or the world outside, which is actually not much any more real than the world of your mind, when you go out into the world outside, you can trust yourself more. because you're coming from a better place. So try to get a sense of well-being inside, where the mind can open up to itself. The reason we hide things from ourselves is that different parts of the mind tend to bully other parts of the mind. And so different sections of the mind just kind of close up. There's a lack of communication inside. So here we, we settle down with the breath. And ultimately hope that everybody opens up to the breath and that, so you can get to see who's going on and where the good sides of the mind are and where the bad sides of the mind are, so you can sort things out. This way, when things are clearer inside you, then your intentions are a lot clearer, your actions are a lot clearer, and the results they get are going to be better. Because this is the Buddha's basic teaching, is that our actions make all the difference. This is sometimes forgotten. People start thinking about Buddhist teachings about three characteristics or emptiness or something more abstract like that. But the Buddhist teachings are actually very practical. You do this, you get those results. You do that, you get these results. So choose your actions well. So train your mind so it can come from a good place where you are willing to choose your actions well. If you're coming from hunger and a sense of being threatened, a sense of fear, it's all too easy to go for the quick fix, the quick bite, the thing where you think you'll get yourself out of danger. But as the Buddha said, fear of danger is one of the things that's, that can make our minds skewed, so we don't th see things as they really are. They're four altogether. There's the things you like, the things you don't like, the things you're deluded about, and things you fear. Things can skew your perceptions, and when your perceptions are skewed, then your actions are going to be skewed as well. You want everything to be straightforward inside. So instead of leaning over in these directions, you want the mind to stand tall, coming from a good place. So provide it with a good place right now with the breath. And then the results will spread out in a ripple effect. So you start with something good here in the mind, and it spreads out into the world. And then the waves that rebound back from the world are going to be good waves as well. <laughs>